is Britain a flawed democracy or India? King Charles III was coronated in a ceremony which costed $125 million, that's a little over 1000 crore rupees. Curiously, Britain is called a full democracy, while India is rated as a flawed democracy. Five reasons we should question these rankings. Number one, the idea of a monarch, a king or queen is fundamentally undemocratic. A person in government who gets the top job by virtue of inheritance, royal blood, heredity is not democratic. Hindi mein ise kehte hain janam jat vishesh adhikar. Two, royals are above the law. The royal family is exempted from having a driving license, a passport, following speed limits, paying taxes and even disclosing their income. Indian democracy has no such concept of royal blood. A chaiwala can be prime minister. Our president comes from a tribal community. Grassroot democracy is kehte hain. Next surprise, majority of the British parliament is unelected. Let that sink in. There are two houses of the parliament, upper house of lords and house of commons with 800 and 650 members respectively. None of these 800 are elected. Either they are appointed or they get there by inheritance as being sons and daughters of Earl, Duke, Baron, etc. Noble blue blood from aristocratic, wealthy, powerful families. These appointments are for life and they are without retirement. Talk of privilege by birth institutionalized in the government. 4. Religion in Parliament 26 bishops from the Church of England are nominated as the spiritual lords of the parliament. They sit on the right side of the throne in distinguished chairs showing their unique status. The spiritual lords vote on legislation, make interventions, they start everyday parliament activity with prayers. How is this religious privilege secular or democratic? Religious symbolism in governance. The coronation of the monarch is held in a church with holy oil sprinkled on him. The ritual has number of religious symbols and God, Lord, Faith, Gospel and Jesus Christ repeated every few sentences. I mean, Ishwar ko zaroor yaad kare, no problem. But imagine if this were India, hume to democracy ki list se hi nikal dete. An appeal to Western powers and media, stop policing us third world. Look inside instead. And for the rest of us, time to push back, time to question rankings, time to decolonize our mind.